I got this image from a friend in the UK, a photographer, Speak Live Studios. I think that's his business page. S Dump. E S D O M P. I'm just going to leave his handle down in the description box below. Both his handles, the personal page and um, his business page. I saw this image on his story, his snap story, and me being me wanting images to you know help the community out there. I usually hold live meetings on my story. I like to leave my Zoom ID there just so that I can hold live meetings for free just to teach people, have a Q&A, have people ask me questions in real time, right? Rather than wait for me to post a video, then you come and comment. And I felt like I think I've done like almost three videos or three live sessions which I haven't recorded or posted on my YouTube. And with this one, I reasoned that, okay, fine. For those who missed on my um, live session, I would like to make an overview edit of whatever it is we did and post them here on my YouTube for those who missed. For, for so Just so that you can also, you know, understand and see what you can do to your images to change them from looking like this to looking like this in Lightroom. Then when we are done, you might probably see how you can edit it in photoshop and make it also look better like send the image to the next level right i had a lot of questions and i was glad i answered most of them cleared some doubts and suspicions from people and all that right so if you're interested in these live sessions i'll leave my instagram handle down in the description box below make sure you follow me and um once a while or from time to time check my story you might probably see these live um these live links join learn something you ask me anything you wanted to ask me related to anything photography not nothing personal okay i, I had i had a similar question like what's the difference between the lightroom app and the camera raw in photoshop there there are no diff like there are few differences but a lot of similar similarities right um, with respect to all the adjustment tabs over here and the tools you need to you know fix the image the way you want it the only difference i was able to make out was the the history tab over here but there's a snapshot tab there's a preset tab so the history and the collection tab and also if you're one who edits online and you want to synchronize and all that you can do that with photoshop if, if it's a batch of images, you can do that with Photoshop, but you can do that with Lightroom, using the Lightroom mobile app. Also, I should have mentioned the sorting system. You can do the whole sorting system where you can color tag an image, give it a rating of 1, 2, 3, and all that, and make sure you can sort the images by editing just the greens or editing just the images with color tag yellow and all that. You can, I think you can, I stand to be corrected, but so far I've not seen that being done in photoshop so for those who didn't hear me say that in the live you have that information here so that's another difference so if you're interested in batch edits in lightroom this is what you can do with it right i've already done the edit i'm not going to do it again for you guys to see i'm just going to run you through what we did and that is why i like the history tab here in lightroom if i run through the history tab I did a lot just to, you know, entertain or indulge. If I say entertain, no, entertain is not the word. Indulge the people I was teaching online. So I made them tell me the kind of settings they would like to apply to the image and all that. And we kind of like fixed that issue along the way. But also, let me shamelessly plug my presets. I, I, I still have this TJDS presets I sell with regards um with regards to color grading and also you have a free profile which you can see over here right and the new lightroom you're able to reduce the amount of um the presets and all so yeah that's also wait what let me reset everything i did that's also a plus for the new lightroom users if you are still using the old lightroom i advise you update to the new lightroom if you feel like it's going to take a toll on your laptop try and get the new camera raw 14.4 i think that works so yeah this is my preset i'm shamelessly plugging it in this video i'm still selling i'm going to leave a link down in the description box below visit my web store try and purchase it and if you can't purchase it on my web store dm me my instagram link will be in the description let me know 
the kind of presets you want to purchase then we'll sell it off support the business and before i get into today's video make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel which is very very important to me because i want you guys to get me to 10k subscribers leave a like by by just liking the video or at the end of the video if it becomes more informative for you but i'm sure it's informative so just just leave a like smack the like button it helps me a lot share the video to other people and try and recommend them to people you think might need an upgrade when it comes to learning how to edit in lightroom and retouching in photoshop okay so this is my preset shamelessly plugging myself um then after that this is the reset then i asked a couple of people to give me the kind of settings they would want me to they would want to see on the image and this is what somebody did right he asked me to do all these and this is how some one of the you know the people who joined in on the live told me to edit the image so i'm looking flat like this and this is the before and this is the after the problem was he asked me to remove the purple and the purple or the magenta happened to be on the skin what what i would have advised him or i think what i advised him was first of all about this you want to try and edit an image always make sure you have a balanced image a color corrected image because if i color correct this and say i remove the purple or the hue it's not really going to affect the skin so looking at this image this image was shot with a 6d which is like entry level camera for all those who want to you know practice photography 6d with a sigma at 85 1.4 lens shot at f2 iso 125 and shutter speed of 1 over 800 right so this is what we have this is using the best minimum to produce the best i mean as you can see speak speak life one of the best in ghana and it's left to the uk so uh, we wish we, we are hoping he comes back to come and teach more people i think he's a grandfather of photography when it comes to all the photographers i know who came out from the university of ghana campus so yeah there's that also okay so we saw this and we reset it then i asked another person also right do all of the adjustments all the adjustments he asked me to do let me see until i get to a reset um yeah so up to this point this is the second entry to editing this image and i realized that people someone also might say this is how he or she would want to edit the image i mean it really doesn't look different from the before just that a reduction in exposure just minor 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 adjustments and i was really really surprised because these little little adjustments are, are really not going to make any difference i mean i'm the one that says you just need to do my needs adjustment to make it work but when you're trying to process an image of this caliber make sure we see what you're talking about because if we don't uh it, it looks exactly the same and this is where i started my editing so i'm going to open up the basic tab whatever i do in the basic tab you see it over here the history just records everything i have done so far right so this is what i did change the profile of the camera to camera standard right taking a look at this image this is what i see this is what i envision the reason is I have um, an orange hair, I have turquoise, aqua, teal, however color you want to name this color over here. I have that over here. So right from my head, I'm looking at an orange and teal looking image, right? So the direction to which I am going to take this image is going to be orange and teal, which is resulting from whatever colors I have in this image, right? So sending this to orange and teal is going to affect quite a number of colors in this image with respect to the outfits, the uh, back color, the camera you're seeing over here. And that is where if you want to take it a step further and you want to fix that in Photoshop, you fix that in Photoshop. So first off, I'm seeing some purple and magenta in the walls, right, right after changing it to camera standard. So I'm just going to reduce my intent from plus eight to minus one. And you can see it over here then we change our temperature and warm it up just so that i color correct it so when i remove the purple or the 
magenta from the image it really doesn't affect the skin as you're seeing over here so this is without the color correction and this is with the color correction right so we've brought some live or we've brought some color to the skin and the image reduce saturation and then i open up my shadows blacks the haze the reason why i like to use the haze is the haze is more like contrast but for blacks when i increase my de haze you when you take a look at the histogram you realize my blacks move together with my midtones but my highlights and my whites don't really move and that's what i'm looking out for so it gives me the contrast without touching my highlights and my whites but it affects my shadows midtones and my blacks and adds color to the image reduce clarity open up my whites reduce the highlights a little bit then give it a little bit exposure and that is that for our basic tab then we come into our tone curve and here in our tone curve i'll go into the point curve then we create a slight s curve after just to increase our contrast and bring some light into our image and add some color contrast adds color to your images if you didn't know so next thing is to tackle our hsl where majority of our color grading happens because that's where we change colors we reduce luminance and all that i have a whole video explaining all this with respect to lightroom understanding lightroom why i move certain sliders and all and the reason behind all that so i move the hue of the orange hue of the red i explain all this in my life i'm going to mention them here i move the hue of the orange just so that i send them into the reddish tone i want my skin to look reddish not yellowish right and i move the hue of the red towards the orange just to you know color harmonize both the reds and the oranges because the skin is made up of red yellows and oranges but in lightroom it's more of red and oranges rather than yellows barely you see yellows in there then i fix the saturation red saturation then i go into the luminance this is where most of the work happens because i want to tan her skin she's a dark skin model so i want you to feel that darkness in the skin and after reducing the luminance it feels like there's quite an amount of saturation happening to this so i'm going to reduce the saturation in there reduce the yellow saturation and that affects my chain over here right but it also removes annoying yellow colors in the image then we deal with the green saturation also we deal with the aqua saturation blue saturation purple and magenta which i'll come back to right then i deal with the blue luminance purple luminance magenta luminance then purple hue shift magenta hue shift green luminosity yellow saturation and after this i come into my lens correction and i enable lens correction remove chromatic aberration and i tried cropping right so initially i wanted to crop this image and i came into my color grading tab after doing all this right this is what the hue and saturation layer adjustments gave me right i've sent it into the direction i want now i've eliminated some colors i don't want to see in my image comparing the before and after you realize certain colors have been subdued and some colors have been you know increased and popped out the more now to sell out the orange and teal look within my shadows let me bring out the three way within my shadows i send the shadow is over here i send the hue towards the bluish teal right yeah so the bluish teal then i send my midtone towards the warm region I'm looking at what orange and teal so bluish teal in the shadows and warm up the midtones so the midtones tend to become the orange and the shadows to the teal now i want to sell the teal look then i push in some greenish teal into the highlight all right so this is before the color grading and this is after the color grading now selling the orange and teal look 
then i come to the looking at the outfit i'm losing you know its color losing its authenticity the idea is to make sure we make drastic changes but not affect a lot of things in there so i'm i'm majorly concerned about the outfit so i tried bringing the outfits back by trying to see what i can do with the hsl tab so back in the hsl tab we're looking at um our purple magenta and our blue hue so you can clearly see the difference in the hue and the saturation and luminance with respect to purple magenta and blue then i reset the clock because i want the full image All right and then i added i removed the sharpening because i don't like to have sharpness in my image i feel i want the natural feel on the skin and i told them that if i want to export this image right from lightroom i mean i have done a lot i've changed the look of the image i've made it look way better all i would just do is to add greens to the image and export the image right, but that's not what you're coming to do so adding greens will add texture and some organic feel to this particular image but we won't send it into photoshop so sending it into photoshop i will remove the greens and send the image as clean as possible into photoshop to do all my skin adjustments clean the skin skin work maybe dodge and bend clean the environment then bring them back here into lightroom to add the greens but after that we added some vignettes into this and i wanted to sell the look even more so i came back into my tone curves and i added some blues into my shadow right so you can see um one two three four five six a six point curve adjustment within my blue channel so this is before the tone curve and this is after the tone curve right then i went into my parametric curves and i introduced some contrast between my lightness and my dark tones right to create contrast after that yeah so add grains if i really want to export remove the grains then we jump right into photoshop so here in photoshop there's a lot i did in here and i'll run you through them this is the background this is what we brought from um this is what we brought from lightroom and within my heel unfortunately i merged the heel but within the heel i fixed my i fixed the color of the outfit brought back i mean i fixed the color of the outfit darkened the image darkened the background just so that my subject can stand out looking at this i feel like my subject is lost within the background or within the image just because she's quite darker than the background so i introduced some darkness using curves what i did was use my selection to use the preset select subject from photoshop 2022 right made sure i deselected it from the places where it wasn't really necessary right then created and created a curve adjustment inverted the adjustment layer just so that it affects just the background then i reduce the um the luminance on the background so now my subject stands out more comparing it to the background if that makes sense so yeah that's what i did with respect to darkening the background and when it comes to colorizing your outfit i think i have a video where i show you how to you know change the color of an outfit so let me say i selected the outfit this we're using the same selection tool what i do is pick up the hue and saturation layer adjustments hit on colorize then i'm able to change the color of the outfit to whatever color i want I have a full video on this i'm i'm sure i'll look for it and link it in the video just so that you can learn so that's all we did and we did some blemish removal on the skin on the legs and all that so that is what until the healing next time if i'm doing this or next time just join the live just so that you can see all this but if i'm if i tend to post this on youtube i'll just create a smart um adjustment layer just so that when i double tap and open it you see whatever it is i did in the heel next i do is to dodge and bend the skin and the environment as usual because if i hold option and click on the dodge you can see um dodging and bending on the face of our subject right and this is the hair and the skin and the leg area and the outfits then this is the reel from the staircase right and 
dodging the environment and this is burning the environment so we have burning the environment the real system then her skin and also the hair sorry the hair and all and when i turn them back on and off before and after so let me reduce it before and after so dodging the background also gave more separation to this image right right after that i whitened the eyes and the teeth using hue and saturation layer adjustments what i did in there was to reduce the saturation within each and every color available to us so yellows rise down to magenta i reduced the color even in the master just to you know take away the colors i don't need then what i did was clip an skf onto the adjustments i did to give me that clear white look i'm looking out for so i painted it in the um, bag and also on the teeth and the eye and the next is to introduce the yellow we removed from the chain so the same colorize thing i did with the outfits is the same thing i did to the chains over here and that's what you're seeing over here so as you can see colorize is turned on yeah but then a hue saturation i mean hue yellow hues saturation um, lightness to give me this color with respect to the yellows just to bring it back then within my selective coloring adjustments i mean it's not really visible because the opacity is way low i added some yellow um, some blues into my blacks and some reds into my blacks then i went into my reds i added some um, cyan into my reds and yeah and that was it with a reduced opacity so you're not really going to see anything after i added vignette to you know bring more attention to my subject so the first vignette and i duplicated the vignette using the same thing so to create more vignettes to, i mean bring contrast to this other people will say um subject refocusing or something like that but yeah it's just vignetting and exposing the subject but i would rather a vignette than expose it because when i expose it then i've increased the luminosity value then whatever i did in the dodging and burn might be exposed a little bit so we would have to go back into the dodging and burning to fix all that after I did mention I don't like to add sharpness to my image, but I can selectively add sharpness to certain parts of the image, like the hair. So if I turn it on, this is before and this is after. So sharpness to the hair, the mouth, the eyes, the outfit. Um, yeah, and that's that. So hold option, turn on the max, just so that you can see whatever I decided. After this, I saved it and sent it back into lightroom this is what we call dynamic linking right dynamic editing then what i did was to introduce the grains i spoke to you guys about just to make the picture look a little bit organic right and old school ish then i opened up my shadows to complete the look and this is all we did from my free live zoom session on my instagram so for you not to miss it i'm going to leave my instagram handle down in the description box follow me and be on the lookout for these free links on my story i happen to post them from time to time i can do it for the whole week i can just do it once a week i mean depending on whichever day i want to do it just be on the lookout for it and in as much as i would want to post them here on youtube i'm feeling reluctant because i want you to put in the effort to watch it on my live it's free i'm not charging anybody until i start charging it's free for everybody who wants to join and learn something new right so yeah this is all i did on my live session today as of this recording i recorded i mean i thought to the live earlier in the morning and i recorded this video in the evening so that is that this is whatever happened so we started from here and we ended up here then we completed a look in photoshop using whatever it is then we ended up fixing our shadows and adding some greens to the image here in lightroom so yeah in all this is a good edit i exported i sent it to the guy who sent me the images he loved it and yeah so let me just say this again i'm still selling my presets the 
the TJDS presets. This is how the TJDS presets look on the image, right? And I still have my TJD color play. If you want to, you know, if you want to have a different approach to having your image look differently from whatever we did today, I mean, you can just visit my web store. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below, like I said earlier. And if you have a problem with purchasing on my web store, my Instagram DM is in my Instagram link is in the description box below. DM me. Let's talk on how you can get your hands on these presets. I have Photoshop LATS and all that. Just visit, visit the web store and see what you want from there. And I mean, try and support the brand, support the business. I would also love if you would give me a subscribe follow here on my YouTube just to increase my subscription numbers because this year I promised to get to 10k subscribers and it's getting to the end of the year already. I hope to be producing more videos as I am trying to come back into, you know, giving you more content as usual. I was gone for a long time, I think during last month. Last month, I just produced one video, right? And I want to be able to, you know, do more. And as much as I said, I put more videos every Wednesday. I want to be able to do more. Right? So I'm just getting my groove back. I lost a lot of stuff. So getting my groove back, getting the energy back. I hope to do more and I hope to gain your support again. All right, so make sure you share this video to other people who you think might need this to level up their editing game and leave me a thumbs up which helps the algorithm push this video to a lot of people and if you have any questions at all concerning this particular video leave it down in the comment section box below and i'll get right to it so more videos to come subscribe share and please don't forget to learn which is very important learn practice repeat the practice repeat 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 and become better so you know what practice makes improvements practice doesn't make you perfect thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video peace